And it has been a busy weekend for Corpus Christi police officers. This morning, they continue investigating three shootings, all happening last night, two of them deadly. The first fatal shooting happened around 10 o'clock last night. Police were called to Rojo and Arlington Streets at the Christ of the King Church. When they arrived, they discovered a 33-year-old man dead at the scene. Officers blocked the streets around the church while they investigated. Now, at this time, police say they are working with very little information. Two groups of uh, people met up for at this point. I don't have the specific reason why they met up, but again, that particular one um, escalated uh, into um, basically into a violent act, which led to the death of this individual. Police are looking for the shooting suspect and when caught, the person will likely face murder charges. And about two hours later, police were called onto Ann's Market on Southport, referencing the shooting. When they arrived, they found a man that has been shot. Officers performed first aid until medics could take him to the hospital. He died of his injuries shortly after. Investigators believe this incident also began with a verbal argument. That there were two um, separate vehicles in the parking lot and that some occupants went inside the store. When it came out, some kind of verbal altercation um, happened and then it escalated into a shooting and that vehicle um, fled the scene. Investigators will search through surveillance video from surrounding businesses. The shooting suspect will face murder charges. And police are asking for the public's help in trying to figure out what led to a shooting on the 23rd Street. It happened around the 7 last night at a home near the old Memorial Hospital. A 25 year old man was shot and driven to spawn spawn shoreline before police arrived to the scene. Police know a group of people were working on a car there when another person they knew showed up. They began arguing and it escalated to a shooting. So far, no arrests have been made, but police say the victim is still recovering from his injuries this morning. If anyone has any information about any of these shootings, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 888-TIPS. Remember, you can remain anonymous.